What's up guys, my name is Bravo, and two weeks ago, Ninjala Developer Diary number 25 has been shown to us. That Developer Diary hold a lot of information that's going to be coming out for Season 11 of Ninjala, which is involving a new Battle Pass, new weapons, a new stage, and a new Shinobi card. I cannot wait to break all this down for you guys. We're going to get this started. Without further ado, if you guys enjoy these videos and would like to see more, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, it is always appreciated. Make sure notification bell is turned on so you guys don't miss out on the latest uploads I post. With that being said, let's dive right into it. Now, Developer Diary 25 had a lot of stuff. I can't wait to even break this down. It's it's so much stuff that we're finally getting in this game, and I feel like it should have happened like a few seasons ago, but we're getting it now. So this might be a game changer for Ninjala in general. So we're going to start off with what they're talking about. And which is the season 11 battle pass so the battle pass for the season is going to be based off Norse mythology I don't know why just blurred out like that but that's the theme for season 11 we're getting this September 29th which is next week I'm pretty sure like if I could look at my account yep it is next week so there's gonna be that is gonna start from next week all the way to January of next year so we have a lot of time to complete the battle pass for this season as we're probably going to get a lot of Matsuri festivals happening. Next up, I do want to talk about is the new additions that they're adding. Like I said before, we're going to get a new stage, new gun weapons, a shinobi card, and we're actually going to get chapter three of Ninjala story mode in the game, which has been taking a very long time to be added, but it's finally here. I may do want to bring back my old Ninja story mode walkthrough because I did have that. I just stopped doing it. If you guys want to see more of that, you guys know what to do with hit that, hitting that subscribe button. Next up, let's go over here to the new stage. Now, the new stage is called WNA Junkyard. It is a brand new stage. I really like the design of it. It almost reminds me of a Splatoon stage. And by the way, I will be having some Splatoon videos coming out soon. So if you guys also want to see that, you know what to do. However, this new stage is actually giving me vibes of both Shinobi City and Crisson Arena. I, it's crazy how the stage looks so gigantic. I feel like some of those like small ships... It would be cool if some of these small ships were like part of the map and you could like climb on them. But that would almost be impossible to do. Because like you have to... There's no way someone could be able to reach all the way over there even with gun boost and all that so that's definitely not a possibility can't wait for this stage there's gonna be a lot they even said it right here there's gonna be a lot of cool features as gum rails dash plates and the jump pads what is the jump pad did they have something like that in the other stages a jump pad oh yes they did okay i okay i it was it's a it's a, it's been it's oh man it's been a while all right Next up, we're going to talk about the gun weapons. Now, these gun weapons are extremely both good and probably bad at the same time. And we're, I'm going to get into that really shortly, but I just want to talk about what these gun weapons are. So these are the two new wep gun weapons. They are part of the punch type weapons, which was the poxing, poxing gloves and the ogre gloves. And now they have these, which is the powwow cannon and the oedo cannon. I think I butchered the name wrong. <laughs> it's, it's weird to even pronounce it. So there's that. They're both punch type weapons. And they're extremely different from how you use the boxing gloves and ogre gloves. Because you're not like mostly fighting close range. Like you're, it's more like you're fighting mid range. Like if you look at that gameplay right there that was just shown. You notice that she was able to shoot like, like something at you <laughs> like like something like Mega Man where you're able to shoot like lasers and whatnot or like balls of energy so something like that is more is definitely reminds me of a Splatoon but it has like that Ninjala twist into it so there's that they're mostly I feel like these are mostly going to be used for like long range combat that's is really perfect for people who doesn't want to like do close range combat because I know people want to take a break from doing stuff like that so this weapon is actually a plus for them. They also reveal other things that you can do with these new weapons. And they have fire beams. Not only they have fire beam, they also have new things as well where they have a wide break attack and it creates a barrier. 
Now that barrier stops enemies' attacks and it connect them into a counter attack. Now that is really something that is amazing for all of these players. A lot of people is definitely going to be exploiting that tactic into gameplay. I do like how they also have like other stuff. They said the ability energy rewards recovers energy after after what? Okay, so if you defeat an enemy with a big weapon, you have like full capacity of your S energy, which is really interesting. I'm pretty sure there's another ability like that in the game where if you d defeat an enemy with a big weapon, you could reset the cooldown of your special or something like that. I think the Epon Katana has something like that. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skim through this because I don't want to watch the entire video. I just want to skim through like stuff that we were shown, and this is one of them to be honest. The special Thunder Cannon. We're gonna. I think they show it in this clip right here where what the thunder cannon can do yeah that look 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 at that hold on hold on and not only that it actually gets them and hits done so if we go back here so if we go back here you can actually hit people from like a long distance and it actually has hit stun that's ridiculous now my thing is could someone actually combo that into the morph master shinobi card where you could gumbine people that would be wild oh that's gonna be ridiculously strong yeah you see like you can run from people and you can actually play in a long distance like that's crazy so that's actually going to be a big problem <laughs> wow they even have a new gum shoot which is called the gum needle i think they show it in this clip right here i like how it ooh. Okay, so it's like it re almost reminds me of the gum boomerang, how it takes time to gumbine an opponent, but it's it has to actually land for it to actually work. Next, what's another thing? Because we have so much stuff we have to cover up on everything that we now know about season eleven, and it is <laughs> it is so much. Oh man! So we're gonna skim through this, and I think this is the part I have been waiting for. Is the new shinobi card that they're adding into this game and this shinobi card is probably one of the craziest ones i've ever heard now this shinobi card is called drone hustle and what it does is that it continuously using emotes near a drone timer will speed up the rate at which drones appear it speeds up even more if used with an ally who also has this card equipped now let me get into more context of what that means so when you defeat so when you destroy a drone in gameplay and there's like a spawn timer for the next drone to pop up you can use an emote next to that spawn timer and it can increase even further now if this was team battle and you had like four players doing something like this that could actually come that could actually be like a farming material right there because you don't even have to go all over the map you can just stay where you are and just farm a drone right there I'm actually gonna have I'm actually gonna have a few friends of mine help me out with the shinobi card because I do want to run some experiments with this. I'm also gonna have a video about this when the season starts. But we can look at the assist codes here, and it says restore life when defeating drones. Continuously using emotes near a drone timer will display the position of foes beyond walls within a certain range. Okay. Continuously using emotes near drone timers will speed up the rate at which gum ninjutsu recovers. Whoa. Whoa, hold up, hold up. You're telling me that if you do an e So if you equip this and you have a very good like gum ninjutsu, you can actually exploit that. Oh man. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be having the Shinobi Guard being tested. I'm actually going to run it and a f and future weapon guides because i feel like this weapon could be good for certain hammer weapons but we're not going to get into that right now but that is wild how it works even okay so it even shows you right here okay so let's go let's go back let's go back i want i want to see how this works actually let me just do that real quick okay oh it even shows you oh okay so it was, oh i see so look carefully if you do an emo, it speeds it up for a short period, like for a very short period of time. See that? 
So it's for a short period of time, so it doesn't happen permanently. You have to keep doing it. Okay. All right, good. Because I thought that if you just do one emote, it just speeds it up permanently. You actually have to keep using an emote for it to actually speed up faster. Okay, so I, I feel like that's a little balanced. That, that's a little understandable. So, yeah, like I said, you could definitely use something like that to just farm. That's wild. We're not going to get into the WNA sticker. Well, it's the WNA resort. It's just a new thing they added. Nothing much. They're showing. They're just adding like a sticker board. I don't know for people who's interested in that. I personally am not interested in the sticker board. I do like the WNA resorts, but I'm not interested in stuff like that. Next up, we're going to talk about the Shinobi shop. That's another thing. I'm kind of not interested in, but I do like at what they're doing with this, where the Shinobi shop fitting room, you can add a lot of stuff into the I like into the fitting room. You could put them on, and then if you like what you want, you can just buy everything there. If you don't, then you could remove some items. I feel like that's a good upgrade, so people could actually like maximize their customization choices. It's, it's amazing. Now this part, this is the Ninja Gum Lab. I think. This is another thing I have a problem with with the game of what they're doing right now. I'm going to have a separate video about that as well. And that's definitely going to be about the Ninja Gum Lab because this is honestly really pointless. I may, People may have other opinions that, oh, it's helping out the game. It's, it's kind of not for me at least. So nothing much is being shown here. Um, excuse me. Nothing much is being shown here. They're just adding new gum skins to the gum lab, which it makes no sense. Why would why? And look how much it is. 285. Yeah, I don't know why they would do that. OK, next part. Oh, this one is going to be a doozy. This one is the chapter three of the Ninjala story. And if you look at the thumbnail here, you can see that the picture you're fighting like this centaur. This like I don't know what this thing is, but it's a centaur, and the main character for that story mode is Burton, Burton, Burton. Wow, that's really cool. He also has the um Matsuri board, so that's really interesting to use. Can't wait, because I know for chapter one the main character is Vaughn, chapter two is Barika, and now we're getting Burton. I don't know who is going to be for chapter four. Probably either Ron or Lucy, one of those two. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. So yeah, it says if you you could receive a present of 100 research points, I think that happens when you're actually completing the story to get something like that. And because they're bringing chapter three into the game, they're also having the discount sale of getting both chapter one and two. They did this so many times. I'm not even surprised that they're doing it again, but I, f I feel like they're really trying to push it out. All right, and now here we go. This is what we're gonna get, hold up. Okay, so this is the event schedule of season eleven right now. So when the game, so when season eleven drops, we're gonna get a new stage, gum weapon, stone card, and chapter three of the story. October, we're going to get a W. We're gonna get WNA tours, which is like the monthly tournament for Ninjala. And then November, we're gonna get another one, but it's going to be a team edition. And then in December, that's when we get the new collaboration. I don't know what it is, but. Leaker has been saying that the next co collaboration is probably either Sailor Moon or Kingdom Hearts. One of those two. So keep that with a grain of salt. I'm not sure if one of those is even going to be the next collab. But if so, that would be really cool. And then the feature battles that's going to be happening is The Last Ninja Standing, Ninjala Psych Striker, <laughs> which is basically Rocket League, and Man to Man Brawl. Now, I made two videos of that feature battle. I will have more in the future because i really like doing that featured battle is really fun to do 1v1s and they're also going to have like wna tours and the shinobi challenges i will be continuing the shinobi challenges videos as well as that and with that that's all we have covered up for everything we know about season 11 of ninjala if i miss anything you guys can let me know in the comments but other than that i'm going to be ending it right here i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did leave a like come subscribe it is always appreciated and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.